Fuck Photoshop. There's a better way. It's 2020 and creative coding is exploding right now. But what exactly is creative coding? Is it making code in super creative ways? No, this is creative coding. According to Wikipedia, creative coding is a type of programming that's focused on creating something expressive instead of something functional. Now, most of that's true, but it's kind of missing something important. Creative coding gives creatives the ability to add function to their art and design. Now, I don't really love Wikipedia's definition, so why don't we go ahead and examine that? Using code to make something expressive. My favorite part of creative coding is that you can build something functional and something expressive. Philosophers could spend thousands of years talking about what is art, what is design, what is life, which is time, but we don't have that kind of time. My definition is the simplest, making art and design with code. Creative coding started in the 1960s, but didn't really get ramped up until the 1980s and 1990s. It didn't really gain popularity until the 2000s. Recently in the last 10 to 15 years, it's exploded. You can think of creative coding as a way to build tools that have never existed before. You can borrow other artists tools who developed them for you and make your own twist and then you can make art and design with those tools. In creative coding, you don't just use a program like Photoshop. You learn the fundamental ideas and tools to be able to build your own Photoshop. For example, you could make a brush that paints ponies or paints images of cats. You could make a random star field generator, put cats on it, make it a GIF, and have processing make a thousand of them. Really whatever the hell you want. Now can you do that with Photoshop? I mean, okay, let's just say you're like a Photoshop master. And let's just say you can do that. My program can repaint a thousand images by the time you could make one and then choose the best ones. This is kind of like copying yourself to make a thousand of your own ideas and then choosing the top best 10. Creative coding uses a range of computer programming languages such as processing, P5JS, Cinder, Max MSP, PaperJS, Open Frameworks, and so many more. Processing was the first language I learned at UCLA while studying under Casey Reese and Chandler McWilliams. It opened my eyes to what's possible. I mean, at the time I've been using Photoshop for years, Illustrator, After Effects, 3D Maya, you know, you name it. So I just figured I might as well use all those tools. Then I saw the power of repetition and iteration and interactivity and just so many more things that you could do with code, I was flabbergasted. I mean, before I just thought, why the hell learn programming? Like, it's just so hard and I have Photoshop. What if I said, why make a machine that makes books when I can just make it by hand? You'd think that was insane. And that's because we already have the tools, technology, engineers have already made those book making machines for us. So Creative Coding gives you the blueprint to be able to make your own little graphic design making machine, your own little painting machine. One of my early projects, I decided to make typography audio reactive. Could you do that in Photoshop? No. Could you do it in After Effects? Yes. But can you make it where when you speak, Google picks it up and real time generates the audio and the word at the same time? No, and that's when you get into prototyping. So creative coding breaks down the walls and limitations of other programs and just gives you the floorboard. Your great grandparents would probably think you're crazy and try to lock you up if you try to talk about any of this stuff. That's how new and outrageous it all is. Creative coding allows you to make a system that can generate your own unique art and design in infinite possibilities. You could have interactivity, audio, virtual reality, augmented reality, so many possibilities open up. Once you understand how to use the code, the possibilities are only your mind and what you can type. I know I was talking crap about Photoshop, but the truth is anything you make in processing or creative coding can be exported and imported in Photoshop. So all those elite skills that you've been using for years are not gonna go in vain. What I understood that you could make thousands of images and patterns that are impossible to make with Photoshop and Illustrator, I knew I had to jump on. New possibilities opened in my mind, and I hope they are for you. There's a community of creative coders here, all willing to help you, and I'm one of them.
Welcome to the other side. This video just scratches the surface of what's possible with creative coding. So if you want to hear more about how to use processing, then just subscribe and pay attention because I'm gonna be making videos just like this and tutorials in the future. Make sure to send this to all your techno geek creative friends. See you next time. If you want first access to the code from this video and all my other videos, come to artnowcoding.com.